So today, I was able to get my hands on one of the newest launches from the DeWalt 20 Volt Max series. This is part of their spring launch of tools. Uh, they usually come out with some new cool garden slash yard and or you know outdoor tools annually. Uh, my chainsaw was one that I got a year ago, string trimmer. Those have been invaluable to my collection. I do an enormous amount of string trimming as I completely retired my lawnmower in order to just use a string trimmer. I go now 100% DeWalt 20 volt. Um, so everything I do is battery powered, which is fantastic. <coughs> But I do a lot of gardening and a lot of tree gardening or arbor kind of maintenance in a uh, more large scale relative to probably what most people do. So I do a lot of trimming. Um, and when I saw this come out, I thought, wow, that's that's going to be perfect for you know everything that I need in that. And I hadn't really seen it in person yet. I saw someone on the DeWalt Tool Fans group on Facebook post that it had launched. Uh, I think it's actually a little bit early. I think it's supposed to come out February 1st. I did a search and my local Home Depot here in Wilmington had one in stock. So naturally I ran over there and got it because these tools typically are limited in their volume of release. So they're usually hard to find right at launch. Um, and I'm going to be doing a lot of trimming very soon. And normally I do that with little hand trimmers or some bigger ones that are the longer handled versions of the same thing. But this does up to an inch and a half in diameter or 38 millimeters, 3.8 centimeters uh, in diameter. And it can do up to 1,100 cuts per charge, obviously. That's considering a specific battery, uh, but it does not tell you which one. But I assume they're talking about the 2 amp hour, um, which is a little bit nicer to use than the 5 because it's a little bit lighter. So obviously you don't have to cut a lot of stuff. Just save your back and your wallet and your, your uh, not your wallet, but your, your belt rather, uh, if you're carrying this thing uh, hip side. <laughs> but... The other part of what I think this will be useful for, which we'll get to demonstrate today, will be to see its ability to cut PVC. I do a lot of fabrication and I use a ton of PVC. PVC is one of my favorite things to work with. So we're gonna do some tests right now and see how this little guy does. There's some really cool and interesting features about this. First of all, it has a light, although you might not think that's necessary. Sometimes in a darker area, even in the daylight, that can be useful. Uh, additionally, the blades are removable for sharpening or replacement, which is really handy. And the chuck key or the Allen and screwdriver head that takes those out just stores into the handle here. I wish they would adopt this process for some of the other tools like this, the die grinder. Uh, the little chuck keys up there are just two separate that kind of just clunk around. Uh, and similarly, I wish they would do that for the... Um, the router as it also has a chuck wrench that you just kind of have to set off to the side. Not a big deal, but I really do like that their mindfulness of putting the tool for the tool on the tool, as redundant as that is to say. One of the things I really liked about this, I unboxed it obviously already. It's really not exciting when you unbox something that's well, it is cardboard, a plastic bag, and a little instruction booklet. Pretty straightforward. This is all of the specs. That will stop rolling. All of the specs in Spanish and English. Not so bad, pretty straightforward. What I really liked about this, my expectation of this mechanism was is that when you pull the trigger, that it would have to complete the cut to then come back up. So it was more of like a, a reciprocating function where it would have to complete its cycle to return. And that's not the case. It is more like a servo motor. So if I press the trigger, it'll start to compress this. And as soon as I let go of the trigger, it releases. So if you had yourself in a terrible situation, like a finger was being cut and you let go, it would immediately stop and retract. Uh, also, if you have a, a binding instance, if a branch were a hardwood branch that you kind of maxed out its capacity and the battery life was low, it would be able to release itself from its grip. So it is very handy in that regard. So what I'll do here, I'll snap on the battery to show you what I mean. Now it's a dual trigger, so there's a safety trigger. This you have to fold down in order to press this trigger. And then when you pull this trigger, That's the mechanizing of the tool. 
Now, I don't know how I'm really going to show you the uh, PVC thing with two hands without getting a little bit dangerous here. Let's, uh, let's hang that over the edge. Let's see if I can uh, just get this a clean cut. My goal is to get this. Now that splintered quite a bit. It was actually what I was afraid of. Um, is that the pressure was going to be too high and, and sure enough it is a little bit too aggressive for PVC uh, a little bit maybe from the motion that I had there trying to scoop it in but let's see oh yeah if you keep it still it actually cuts a nice clean cut so if you do have both hands if you're not trying to film and do it it seems as though you might be able to make a clean cut as you can see that's the second cut there let's see if I can replicate that one last time uh, I think it was just a little bit too much motion on my end. Could it be a little bit more steady? Nope, that definitely just shattered it and shot it everywhere. Um, so, that's no good. I will say it is pretty chilly out today here in Wilmington. We're probably at, uh, I don't know, 38 degrees, maybe 40 degrees. Uh, so that's pretty cold for us. So the PVC didn't do well in a cold test there. Now, PEX is a friendly relative of PVC, a very similar type of plastic, but it's actually a little bit more rubbery. So I'm curious how it will work with PEX. I'm curious about the other applications of use that this has. So for those plumbers out there or people who DIY with, that did a nice little chop. Do one more, back it out a little bit here. Yeah, that seems to do a really good job. Um, so PEX is actually great. It does kind of crush it a little tiny bit. Now you can see the oblong rounding that's happening there. Um, but again, gets the job done pretty quick. And then this, I doubt it'll be able to reach around this. I think this is just outside of its capacity. But since we're here, let's... Uh, Let's see what we can now. That's that's too big. But moral of the story is PVC is probably not the best use case for this tool. But what I will do is I'll bring you guys in the backyard and I'll cut a couple branches and just show you the practical end of use. So this is one of the bushes that I actually use the string trimmer on. This is a butterfly bush and it's a pain to cut. So this will make that real, real easy because I can just reach in and kind of trim through all the bigger branches and haul off all that. So that's gonna be really nice. Um, again, having two hands to do this would be way better. And then let's find a good size branch here. This one here looks like the doozy I need to cut. Let's get it a little closer. That seems to be right at the end of its useful limit, but Let's get that a little bit more aligned. That one took a good couple of trims and, oh, well, that's, uh, hmm, it's over the fence now. Well, what can you do? Uh, this guy here has had some branches trimmed in the past that didn't do as well. This is a dead branch on this tree. So let's cut that right off. It does a great job at that. Look at that. So needless to say, the tool as it was intended to cut wood does a great job at cutting wood. Um, PVC, a little too brittle for that type of thing, but I would definitely say this is gonna be a handy tool for all of the trimming that I normally do. And uh, there's going to be some new projects coming to the channel very soon, which will uh, let you see this in a lot more use. Additionally, I'm going to be making cuttings of all of my grapes this year to kind of multiply the capacity of grapes that I can output. So when I'm making all those little cuttings, this will be a really good way to make nice, clean, quick cuts at scale so I'm not sitting there and cutting a hundred little pieces. But yeah, that's the new DeWalt pruner, 20 volt. The chickens did not like that. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, what are some other ways that you could use that tool outside of cutting? Nice inch and a half branches.